Hello guys, what is going on today? I'm Will from Will Rides Trails, and today we're going to be checking out my brand new bike. So, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so, about a week ago, I was in Knoxville, Tennessee, and I was looking to buy a bike. Um, happened to go to a store called the Bike Zoo, which I had been to before, and I knew they were a specialized dealer. Um, and they had this beautiful bike, which is a 2019 uh, specialized stump jumper comp alloy. Um, and I said, you know what? I'm going to get it. So, got this bike. I fell in love with this bike seven months ago when they put out the teaser trailer for it. And then about five months ago, I um, saw it in a shop in California. I, did, I rode it a little bit around the parking lot. Absolutely fell in love with the bike. So, this is the comp alloy build. Um, so it's not, it's, I think, $3,020. That's like the price of it. But after sales tax, this was $3,300. Um, so yeah. Um, so I'm just going to give you a quick run through the bike. I'll take the camera off the tripod so you get a closer look at the componentry and stuff like that and how beautiful this bike is. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. All right, so I got a list just so I don't mess anything up. Um, spec-wise on the bike, because I want to give you the best information possible. So let's begin. So up front, we got a Fox Float Rhythm 34. Um, it's 150 mils front and rear for this bike, so really, really cool. A um, lot more travel than my old bike, which I rode a Rocky Mountain Fusion 29er, which is a 120 mil hardtail, so it's kind of a big jump up from that. Um, in the back, we got a Fox Float DPS Performance, um, with also 150 mils of travel in the rear. Um, really good suspension. I was able to get about uh, four runs in at uh, Baker Creek Preserve in Knoxville, Tennessee. So kind of like a um, a public bike park, which is really really cool. Um, performed really good. Um, had a lot of fun with it. Suspension was awesome. Um, the guys at the bike zoo tuned it up for me. Uh, really cool. Um, so let's we're just talk about the wheels. Um, these are. The Roval Traverse 27.5 wheels, these are the aluminum wheels that Specialized um, makes in-house. Um, really no complaints with them um, compared to the, my wheels of the, my last bike that were really, really beat up. Um, just having new wheels is a big improvement. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, talk about what goes on the wheels, we've got the tires. Now up front we've got the uh, Butcher, which has the grid casing. Um, it's also made by like specialized in-house brand. On the back we have the Purgatory, with also, which also has a grid casing. Um, same thing, made by a specialized in-house brand. I was riding, it was a little sloppy, a little muddy. Um, and they, I didn't lose grip that much and these tires really performed well. And they're a lot better than the tires I had on my old bike. These have a lot bigger knobs and they're a lot more, you know, beefy. So, awesome. All right, so for our cranks, we have the uh, race basic effect cranks, um, 170 millimeters of length for those cranks. Um, no complaints, pretty cool, not gonna lie. Um, we have a race face 32 chain ring on the drive side, which you can't see, works good, tried and true. Um, drive trim is a uh, Shimano X Team SLX 11 speed, so it's kind of a mix and mash of it. Um, my old bike, I had a Shimano 1x9, um, which, you know, is a 1x9, so what, it's not very good. But, it's a 1x11, um, no complaints about it so far. This thing climbs like a beast. I was actually surprised. I was like, this bike has way too much travel to climb. And I climbed on it, and it was fantastic. So, there you go. Drivetrain, awesome. Handlebar is the specialized in-house brand handlebar. It has a 27mm rise, I believe... I want to say it's 780 wide, 780 millimeters wide, but I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. Um, I'll put a list of all the parts on this bike down in the description below so you guys can kind of check it out. Um, where was I? So, the grips that come on this are specialized Owen grips. They're black, um, they're specialized half waffles. There's a waffle pattern on the bottom, top is just regular rubber. Um, but I upgraded. These are ODI and SDG. They kind of made like collaboration. These are those grips. Um, I got them in pink because I really like the color pink, and I think it looks good with this blue. 
and then it matches my, my muck off fender up there. Um, so I think it just kind of all goes together. Um, yeah, so there you go. Those are the grips. Um, the brakes are the Shimano SLX brakes. Um, I really like those. They have a lot of stopping power. Never fell out of control in Knoxville. Um, for rotor sizes, up front we have a 200 millimeter rotor. Ro 200 millimeter rotor. In the back we have a 180 millimeter rotor. Right here. Um, really good. Those. I. Yeah, I like those sizes. Pretty cool. Uh, the saddle we have the Specialized Body Geometry Phenom Phenom Comp Saddle. Um, again, just kind of like their basic part that they throw on here. Um, pretty cool. I like it so far. No complaints. Now this part um, that we're going to talk about next is something that I've kind of wanted to try for a long time. Um, and it's the X-Fusion Manic Dropper Post. Now, I have a dropper post on my hardtail, um, but I saw this dropper post in a full page ad in Mountain Bike Action Magazine. It said $199.99, whatever, like 200 bucks. And I was kind of excited because I was like, I always thought dropper posts were like, you know, like 300 bucks and up. And I saw this one and I was like, 200 bucks. And I was like, I'm going to get that one day. And I uh, never got it. So now that I get to try it on my stump jumper is really cool. So, yeah. So that's just kind of a basic parts overview. If you have any questions about the spec of this bike or the original spec of this bike, uh, go down below, check it out. Um, go down below and ask some questions in the comments. I'll answer any questions in the comments about this bike. Um, but right now, I think I'm going to take you off the tripod, get you a closer look at this bike so you can really appreciate how awesome this bike is. All right, guys. So here's the bike up close and personal. Um, First of all, like it just looks so good. And I think the pink and the blue, they really complement each other really nicely. And I think it looks great. Um, the only things I've done on the bike so far is I put my Shimano SPD pedals on there. Um, of course, like I said, the grips, add the mud fender, and then I have these really cool anodized aluminum uh, caps for my um, stems there. And they look pretty cool. Um, I'm going to make this thing go tubeless before I head to Bentonville, Arkansas pretty soon. And those uh, stems are black, so it'll really look cool, um, I think. Um, but yeah, there she is in all her glory. Um, I put it on top of my car yesterday just to kind of see how it looked. And it makes my car look so much cooler that this bike is on there. But yeah, there she is. I absolutely love it. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you get on below and like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you press that bell notification too because I'm going to be having some really cool content coming out about this bike and also about my trip to Bentonville. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this bike check of my 2019 Specialized Stump Jumper Comp Alloy. Thanks guys.